Hey there everyone, Trenty hey. here, and welcome back to Persona 5 Royal. What? So in the last episode, we the rescued Futaba. Master? She was the treasure, the treasure was the friends we made along the way, etc. <laughs> but now that we're done with that crap, we had to get a massage because we have stuff we gotta do tonight. Unfortunately, it's raining, so Chihaya is not there, so I can't just go get a little bit of a knowledge boost for this stuff. See, a seasonal skybound event. Event? Event. So remember that thing that we did a few weeks ago? Or was it just like last week? Who knows? <laughs> the last like week and a half of this game is extremely long. This is going to be fireworks. Fireworks. This outdoor spectacle has been popular for centuries. Vessels are filled with various chemical compounds to generate color, smoke, and sound upon detonation. Did you know that fireworks don't actually whistle? That's the result of a special part built into the rocket designed for a noisy ascent. All right. Wow. Well, I really wish that that stuff wasn't there because let me tell you, People in my neighborhood, this neighborhood is generally very fine, but oh boy, there are some people here who just love to shoot off fireworks all the goddamn time, and I hate them a lot. A lot. For tonight's new activity, since that we have uh, just been chilling after getting that massage, we're gonna go hang out with Hifumi. What a downpour. Yeah, it is, it is, it is a bit rainy. The noise is making it hard to focus. We need to just get with it, you know? Yeah, so she wants to research some new moves. So, uh, yeah, sure. We, we can do that. Let's hang out with Hifumi. I look forward to it. What are you gonna do? Walk around the church? I'll start. Vanguard of my Togo Kingdom, go forth to the front lines. Trample upon them all. You think to protect yourself with that part or paltry defense? <laughs> Useless. Awaken, dragon. Let your shadowy hellfire consume them all. Dark infernal ro rook. Rock, rook, 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 rook. Can you hear them? The wailing of dying soldiers echoing throughout the battlefield. With an incompetent king, a soldier cannot show his true bravery. Wow, I, 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 I'm stroking out. Time for you to suffer. At last, everything is in place. My right hand trembles as I release my full power. Check. I summon forth the forbidden move that shall bring your end. Ultimate Excalibur attack. Check. <laughs> <sighs> I did it again. It's an embarrassing habit I have. During a match, I, um, I tend to get very aggressive. It's as if I assume the role of a queen of a kingdom. All right, that's pretty interesting. I it is? You're a strange one indeed. My father had me do image train exercises when I was younger to help me learn the rules. I gradually began to view the shogi board as if it were my own kingdom. I had fun coming up with stories and strategies for my um, subjects, however. I've heard that people make fun of me on the internet. People think I'm weird, or that I'm an otaku, or that I'm just crazy. I mean, I can't blame them, but certainly I think I'm weird too. <laughs> Look, you know, have confidence in yourself, Ifumi, goddammit. Yes. Your positivity is a welcome relief. I may be able to learn more from our matches than I thought. Yeah, I'm your therapist now. <laughs> well, anyways, uh, Ifumi Togo. Rank two, nothing for it, but hey, that's fine. All right. That will do for today. I was stretching. Oh, there's something I wanted to mention. Do you read weekly magazines? Um, well, I'm doing a photo shoot for one. You're like an idol! Well, let me guess, when you say it like that, you don't want to, right? You're quite perceptive. I thought you'd be surprised if you saw it on the newsstand, so I wanted to let you know beforehand. In all honesty, I'm very reluctant to do it. But if I can draw more attention to Shogi, maybe this world will become more popular. At least, that's how I'm justifying it to myself. I have an interview scheduled for tonight as well, so let's end here for today. Yeah, so that's why I want to get that Chihaya buff. So we had the crossword, and we had that, we just got like a little bit of extra knowledge, it would have been wonderful. Until next time. Yeah, see you later, Hifumi. You're alright. We're almost done with July though, which is cool, and we're gonna actually, like, we get to do stuff, for the most part. It's crazy, right? Have the Phantom Thieves made our move yet? I don't get it, are they just gonna ignore them? I'm sure they're working on it! We're gonna be in trouble if they don't do anything. I wish I'd take care of it already. I mean, look, you know, I, I did what I had to do. Yeah, who's messaging me? Oh, there's a certain place. Somebody, you want to do some training today? The truth is, I want to try something a little different. I was hoping you could maybe come join me. Uh, yeah, what's my late? We're actually not going to do that today. Yo. Uh, yeah, what's up, dog? Oh, okay. Hey, sure. Yeah, I'm on it. Hey, hey! Shut up. 
Okay, so I, I guess uh, maybe that is wrong. I don't need to do that because we're, we're going to be hanging out with Kus, uh, Kasumi next week. So it's fine. So what are we doing today, though? Uh, do I have an Emperor Persona on me? Uh, I don't. Let me go get an Emperor Persona because that's what we're doing today. You know, it's a bit sad I had to get rid of uh, <laughs> my two very powerful Personas, but well, I'll get everyone wants to hang today. And don't don't you worry, these two will begin their, their time soon, very soon. But today, we are going to be hanging out with Yusuke. Uh, the occurrence at that public exhi exhibition was quite frustrating. It seems I have not yet grasped what the heart is truly about. However, I have given it a great deal of thought since then. I have so not liked to try drawing. Do you think you'd be able to assist me? Yes, I can, big dog. I guess it would be, depending on what it is. Uh, come to Inakashira Park, I will wait you there. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for your assistance today. After all, it would be impossible to sketch while rowing. <laughs> I should bring a girl here. What? A girl? Does that mean you have a girlfriend? You should have mentioned sooner. I have missed the opportunity for a truly wonderful subject. That aside, I must thank you for your help today. This is the ideal location for my next motif. Well, look at all the ducks. They're so cute. <laughs> Don't get so excited. You'll fall off, you know. Hmm. Perfect. This is it. My previous painting captured only one aspect of the heart, desire. As such, I was unable to arrive at a truly authentic representation. That is why we have come today. I shall paint a second aspect, the burning passion between man and woman. <laughs> Fittingly, our theme today will be the wonders of love. You too will have an important role here. While I draw, ensure the boat remains as steady as possible amid these devilish ripples. Ah, oh, this angle, incredible. <laughs> that bashful side profile, those moist eyes, their overflowing passion is wholly evident. They are akin to Adam and Eve, yet in, all, in time all lovers must come to know the pain of separation. Separation is the natural end to any such relationship, but even beyond that, love endures. Precisely, this is the truth the human, of the human heart. <laughs> It'll make the most wonderful painting. It shall be adored by all who gaze upon it. It may even be given top prize in the next exhibition. Wait, now is not the time to be thinking of such trivial matters. Hey. Can you please remain still? <laughs> what? <laughs> Return to your prior angle. <laughs> I must capture your profile. <laughs> what the hell are you doing? Rejoice, for I shall preserve your beautiful love so that all coming generations may bask in its glory. Once I complete this painting, you will become new legends in the art world. A modern Adam and Eve. Uh, legends? Art? This dude's off his rocker. Come on, let's report him. Hold on a sec. Are you drawing us? What? You're using us as models? Yes. A man and woman intim intimately swaying in a ding dinghy of dreams. The blush of their cheeks, the bashful looks. Yes, this is the love I was so emphatically searching for. Love? Uh, I guess you could call it that, but it's kind of weird. It's familial love. This here's my sister. Uh, I told you I didn't want to come here with you. I don't want you to do this crap or stupid couples. But I've always dreamed of coming to Tokyo and riding a boat here. Though I was supposed to be with my boyfriend, not my brother. How could this Familial? Be? So that overflowing passion was just a figment of my imagination. It seems my bias has caused me to overlook the truth of the matter. Hey, you know, love comes in all forms. <laughs> love is a broad, multifaceted beast. This only serves to prove how narrow my perspective can be. I see. Hmm, romantic love and familial love. The two may be nigh indiscernible depending on one's point of view. Hmm. Perhaps the truth of the heart lies in the eye of the beholder. Ren, I feel as though I've learned something today. Good, good job, Yusuke. I'm proud of you. Little fucking weirdo. There we go. So, negotiation, for the, negotiation with the lone shadow fails. You can try again. All right. What's negotiation? Wait. So the only couples ride these things, right? That means those two. Shh. There are people from all walks of life in the, here in this city. Ooh. Tell me more. What are you talking about? Let us return. Oh well. Home. Come. It's about time we return home. Please zero us back to shore, Ren. <laughs> See you. Yes, Poppy. I'll roll you back wherever you want. Oh, wait. Is my thing... I don't think my thing's here. Uh, hold on. I should really just uh, save my profile so this thing will remain on the phone, so uh, sorry about that. Ren, thank you for all your help today. I've certainly come to realize my lack of experience. It would, have see it would seem I understand nothing of love after all. Though I've progressed by one step, there is no doubt I will face many difficulties moving forward. When will I finally understand the heart? Even if I do understand it, will I truly be able to draw it? Look, big dog, don't get discouraged, all right? You're right. I have no intention whatsoever of giving up. I will do everything in my power to get past this. Anyhow, today was a significant use of time. Impressive warmanship from your end as well. 
I hope I can count on your help next time as well. For now, farewell. <laughs> I'm really good at rowing boats, man. Okay, what can I say? Ah, you're back. Hi, Sojiro. Oh, I was gonna say bye, Sojiro, but I gotta deal with the phone first. Neat. Ah, uh, yeah, shut up. Look, we'll do this later. I don't care, Justine. Get off my case. Who now? Hey, just stop us all asleep. It's been a whole day already. You're way too impatient. Calm down. Yeah, we just have to wait, all right? Yes, let us drink some tea and calm our minds. Ooh, some rice crackers with the tea would be lovely as well. What? I am most certainly in the mood. <laughs> anyway, we should wait a little longer for Tabu to wake up. There's something salty today. I understand why you guys feel nervous, but we'll just have to wait for now. Yeah, and I hope we don't have to keep going over this like every single freaking day. That would be so annoying if that was the case. Uh, anyways, hi Sojiro. Bye Sojiro. I'm gonna go hang out with Chahaya today. And do a verification test. Screw everyone over here, don't care. Is this? Yeah, stop talking about my women troubles. We're right, closing up shop for today. Oh, we could discuss another matter. Yeah, yeah sure. Thanks, Norn. Let's do this. Um. Amamiya san, honestly, I still believe in the existence of fate. I mean, the fortunes I see have an extremely high accuracy rate. But I suppose my divine power is completely absolute, huh? <laughs> You're only realizing that now? It's not that. I just need some time to accept that reality. You know, I've wondered in the past whether fate really can be changed. But I always concluded that it was something beyond our control. Almost like the laws of nature, eternal, impossible to defy. And yet, there exist people like you who can ignore these laws and impose their own will upon the world. Um, How can I become one of those people, Amamiya-san? Uh, uh, trust yourself? You got nothing else to lose? I don't know. What? Trust myself instead of my fortune telling? I've never thought of it that way before. This city keeps finding ways to subvert my expectations. Whoa, shit, Ryan Johnson built this city? <laughs> <laughs> there was nobody like you back in my hometown in the country, Amami san. Ugh, I've got the san now. It was a small traditional town deep in the mountains, populated almost entirely by older people. Sounds like hell. Well, that's, uh, that sounds peaceful, you know? During the winter, it's practically inaccessible due to all the snow. That alone should tell you volumes. The youth there are forced to be strictly obedient to their elders as well. Not explicitly, of course. Oh, and there's a small shrine in the center of the village. There I... Uh, it doesn't matter anymore. I left that place to come to this city. It means nothing to me now. After I arrived in Tokyo, I found comfort in this stone. It came from someone who dared to care about me, even though I'm just a monster with strange powers. That's why I sell holy stones. I want to help those who suffer from inescapable fates similar to my own. However... But now I wonder if they really do much of anything. After all, you managed to change the destinies of my clients without one. Is it truly possible to alter fate with nothing more than mere words, attitude, and passion? That's littering. If that's the case, I won't be needing this. I'm gonna go confront fate head on with my own strength. Although, the chairman would be really mad if he found out. Uh, the chairman? Oh, oh uh, don't worry about that. Just forget about it. Unless you want to suffer my curse, that is. Alright, King Ramses. Anyway, if fate can be changed, maybe even mine can be corrected, right? It didn't work for me before, but perhaps this time. You know, uh... Sure, you know, you're talking to me, I'm your therapist now, so... Right! <laughs> I look forward to our continued exchange, at least until I can manage to change my fate. Oh, and I'll be sure to put some extra effort into my fortune-telling for you. Alright, what's up, Chahaya? You're gonna just give me something good here? What's up? What we got? No, there's nothing. Nothing at all. All right. Lying to me. Well then. Thank you for today, Amamiya-san. Oh, uh, but we're not done yet. We are not even anywhere close to done. Because we got the phone call. Um, I'm calling because I wanted to thank you once again for earlier. Thank you so much for today. To be honest, I'm still feeling a bit lost. But talking to you about everything has helped me feel a little better. Well, you know what? I didn't do much. I'm a good brick wall. Oh, nonsense. That couldn't be further from the truth. Talking to you helped me realize what I should really be doing. I can only hope my fortune telling is enough to pay you back somehow. Oh, Mia san I'll be putting in a lot of work from now on, even though I can't imagine changing my own fate. But I will figure out some way to make it happen. I hope I can count on you to help me through the process. Until next time. Oh, don't worry, your fortune telling is <laughs> worth more than money. 
Yeah, who is texting me at this hour? It's uh, that snake. Am I free tomorrow? My worry queens gave me some tickets to an, to an aquarium. It'd be a waste not to, uh, it'd be a waste to let them go unused, no? Would you like to come along? Yeah, sure, we'll, we'll commit to Ketchy's plan. Uh, directions to the Shinagawa Aquarium. Cool, a new place. The guy's not out of the aquarium, huh? Well, that should be fun. I guess it's not that weird. Well, what's that supposed to mean, Morgana? What the hell do you know? <laughs> you f***ing cat. Shinagawa, a traveler's hub with access to trains, airports, and a number of hot springs. The sleep with the fishes, this game is threatening me. A nearby hotel has an aquarium inside. It's fun for the whole family. All right. Well, I, I guess we're gonna die here. It's time to sleep with the fishes. And ever closer to crawling towards the end of July. <laughs> it's been that a while since lovely. I've come to, to a place like this. Sorry for dragging you along. Oh, what do you mean? It's a nice place. You could bring a girl here. What do you think of catching us out with girls? <laughs> I'm glad you like it. This suits you, huh? I wasn't sure if you were the type. Huh? Oh. I thought I recognized those glasses. Look who it is. And we even got the second prince detect or detective prince here too. For real? Wait, wait, what? <laughs> uh, why are you here? Oh yeah. Uh, I'm just here for for material on a fluff piece. Date spots for kids these days, that kind of thing. Well, that's not important. Why are you with a catchy coon? Yeah, I invited him out. We're fairly close, after all. You are, huh? Oh, uh, don't mind me. I'm just a reporter. He helps he helps me on my articles sometimes. But who would have guessed you were friends with the famous teen detective? And unlike you, he's pretty hardline anti fandom thieves, right? Why don't I ask a couple of questions about you two? Hey, if you like. Oh, you're down? I was just kidding. I'm no model journalist, but I'm not dumb enough to pry into a high schooler's private life. I thought this report would be boring, but I got a nice surprise out of it. Well, see you next time I need info. You say you have some friends in the media, I see. And if I heard right, you two have some sort of professional agreement. Uh, how about these fish, huh? It's nothing bad. Oh, I wasn't worrying about that. Of course, if you have to explicitly deny it, then... <laughs> no, it's just a joke. I'm sorry if I'm prying. You truly are interesting. Thank you. Thanks for coming out today. We should head home. Fun little scene. I mean, hey, we need a little bit more Oya since how we are just completely sidelined Oya for a while. There's still no response from the Phantom Thieves to Medjad. What do you make of this? Most likely, the Phantom Thieves simply don't have the means of confronting them. After all, Medjad is quite different from anyone they've gone up against thus far. It seems their best option is to reveal their identities before more people are needlessly harmed. You really hit us where it hurts. We're going to beat them, though. Uh, we hung out, and then we're both just going on. I'm going home, and he's sitting there talking shit about me. What a what a guy. What a guy. <laughs> so yeah, it's raining today, but uh, remember what I said about uh, the, the, the twins? Yeah, we're, we're going to go hang out with the twins today. I don't know why I sound so defeated about it, but it's just how I feel. All right, what's up, idiots? What are you gonna do today? All right, time to name the location. Justine, you do the honors. No. Listen closely. The place we wish to evaluate for rehabilitation is where one hones both the body and spirit. Trainees gather there to test and push our limits using various pieces of equipment. I had not, ex uh, I had not expected a rehabilitation facility on this side. As wardens, we must see such training for ourselves. Does such a location sound familiar to you? Well, if you know where it is, then escort us there immediately. It could be the gym in Shibuya. What will you do? All right, well, we're going to the gym. Let's go, inmate. So you do have an idea of where it is. Then today, you're getting a special training regimen. Guide me, inmate. If you don't keep up the pace, you will die. Oh. I am going to die today. Oh, my. So this is a training area. This is what you use to train? It's really different from how I imagined it. Indeed, I imagine the equipment here is having more spikes and chains. Hey, inmate, what's this? Uh... It's for upper body workouts. Is that so? Let us see it in action. Aha! By lifting the weight, you strengthen your arm and chest muscles. But that isn't nearly enough for a real workout. You should increase the weight. Uh-oh. We will assist you with that. Now you can train to your heart's content. <laughs> Don't 
won't play with the equipment. We're deadly serious right now. I'm insulted you would think otherwise. Well, it appears we found the limit for your pathetic arms. <laughs> now, what's that over there? Another body training device? And demonstrate its use for us. Okay, yeah, sure, okay. Oh, it's just a treadmill. Oh, I see. You run on it to improve your stamina and strengthen your legs. Oh, what a fascinating contraption. Perhaps we should bring one to our room. We could force the imprisoned personas to run on it. <laughs> Not a bad idea. <laughs> I think Pixie would cheat. By the way, what does this button do? <laughs> oh, don't get the animation of us falling. We're just on the floor. Out of breath already? You still have quite a ways to go. Okay. All right, on to the next one. What is this bizarre object? Is this that yet another tool for training? Hey, you're interested in the wooden dummy? Hmm, normally I'd say it's not for beginners, but I did just see you really sweating it out, so... Here, I'll show you how to use it. Hey, inmate. You're full sloppy, inmate. inmate. Focus more clearly. Concentrate the power in your strikes. <laughs> Was that really all? You couldn't even defeat a stationary wooden post. For Rita Chai, it would be obliterated almost immediately. <laughs> That's not the goal. You weren't trying to destroy it? So the real purpose is to polish your technique. That's a pretty roundabout, way, a pretty roundabout method, but I do see how it works. Hmm. As far as physical training goes, this place is much to be desired. But it's admittedly sufficient for your rehabilitation. Here is your reward. Oh, yeah, apt people. That eh, makes sense. Encounter? Uh, it also fits. It's been said that a sound mind requires a healthy body. Don't complain. This has been yet another step towards your rehabilitation. Keep training yourself just as diligently, inmate. Hey, what a fun time. Oh man, who the fuck's messaging me now? <sighs> oh, we have a favor to ask? The student council has been getting complaints regarding a suspicious character in Ikibukoro. That's certainly not the school's jurisdiction, but a lot of students do go there, so I'm thinking of visiting tomorrow to investigate. Could I ask you to join me? Nah. We'll, we'll, we'll just we'll just ghost her. Now I have very very important things I have to do tomorrow, Makoto. Okay, you wouldn't understand as student council president or as a person. So I don't you know why I'm just gonna I'm just gonna save. I don't need to save. But I'm just going to save. So today's gonna be real quick and dirty and easy. We're going to Shinjuku, and we're going to get a little boost here. Oh, yes. It's time to record Persona 5. Time for the OLED pixel refresh warning. Uh, to maintain image quality, pixel refresh function should be activated after cumulative usage of four hours. Do you want to proceed now to continue pixel refresh? Process takes six to eight minutes. Once finished, the monitor will uh, power off. <laughs> so, yeah, we're getting the luck reading. Sure, here's 5,000 yen. Someone's burning up in my left ear. That's unfortunate. Uh, I'm going to, I want to increase my goots. Give me goots. Okay, we're, we're, we're getting the good stuff here. Yes, thanks. All right, guts think? are increased. And now we're going over to Kichijoji. Now, we are going to go to the eastern side, which, I mean, we're kind of... Okay, this, this is southern, if I'm just going to believe that this map is correct. So we're looking for a furniture store. There's a thing down here that we can't go to. We'll, we'll get there eventually, though. Pasta shop, hell yeah. I did Got a whole ass pasta shop. Right, maybe, maybe it's just actually back over this way. What's this? Oh, this is a furniture store. So I'm assuming I'm supposed to sit on the fancy, fancy couch. Let's see. Uh, so fancy couch. Hey. Huh, check out that comfy looking sofa. What are you doing sitting on it? Yeah, just a bit longer. What? Is it, is it really that comfortable? I mean, it is. If it's in front of the sofa, I guess it must be comfy. Okay, let's get going. Eh, just a little bit longer. Really? Just how comfortable is this sofa? Hey. Hello. Man, everyone's looking at you. I guess I'd call you bold for doing this. <laughs> so yes, we're continuing to sit on the couch. We get some guts. Which is very, very good. Alright, now, now we're just forced to go. I want more guts, cat. What are you gonna get for me? Nothing? Alright, we're just wasting all our money. We're going back over to Shinjuku. Because we're gonna go watch a movie, which the movie theater is uh, right next to the starting point. Got it. So we go here. Let's see. 
we now could travel to the Shinjuku movie theater. Oh, oh this theater's humongous. I wonder what they're showing. Wow. Right now, we're in just time to see Like a Dragon. I still have to play the goddamn Yakuza games. And like, I, I keep saying this is the year of the Yakuza games. But I know that's not going to happen. And I really want it to happen because I, I just, I have all of them. And I'm going to buy uh, Ishin Like a Dragon when that comes out. And I still not have the Judgment games. It's, it's a mess. The money goes missing. The boss is killed and blood runs through the streets of Tokyo. Hmm. Looks like watching this one, we can teach you how to improve your guts. Yeah, and we have the crap cinema as well, so let's go. Let's buy that ticket. 1,500 yen for one person and a cat. <laughs> you try to cut ties with me, then you come back for more. I'll kill you. Boss, boss, no. That bastard shot him. Boss! Yeah, so we have a... Uh, I believe this is the bathhouse music from Persona 4 playing right now, which is very good. Uh, so we also enforce that level of discipline for the fan thieves? <laughs> no, no. I felt I learned. I feel like I'm gonna learn more about the determination that the Yakuza have. Thanks to the craft of cinema, I was able to enjoy the film on a deeper level. And we're, gonna, we're gonna get a lot of guts, a lot of guts from this, which is very good. We even watched the credits all the way to the very end. Oh, no, don't leave. I have to. I have to go back. Well, it doesn't matter. I guess I'm paying to go back to the train, anyways. Man, it's hot. No, no breaks here. Let's do it. Hot night, man. There's nothing worse than a hot night. I recall. God, that it must be about ten years ago now. We had this uh, this power outage mm -hmm. in the summer, and it was a pretty hot summer. And I remember uh, deciding to not be smart and not go with my dad that particular day. And I remember just like laying in my bed at night, just dying, and just it was it was terrible. It was absolutely terrible. Uh, anyways, we're going back to Kichijoji. Wait, we're trying to find a donut shop. That's that's our goal for today. What what is what is this? Fried food shop? I guess that could be fried food. Oh, uh, so ooh, ooh, okay, this looks like this could be a Power Stone shop. Crystal Healy. Where where is donut? Give me it's a bar, wine bar, steak shop, antique shop. Oh, donut shop. Here's a pop quiz. How many donuts do you think this sign has? Wait, hold on. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That is nine. Hey. <laughs> uh, it should be nine, shouldn't it? No. Oh. Oh, okay. Never mind. We still get it anyways. So for some reason that gives us guts. Oh, I didn't count the one on the left. Whatever. Who cares? It doesn't matter if you get it right or wrong. It's just about that. And now we're going to go hang out with Chahaya again. What's up, Chahaya? Let's hang out. Don't shrivel up. Uh, I place my shop on the street so I can see people walking by, but I'm about to melt. Yeah. Damn if you do, damn if you don't. Ooh, you want to tell me a lot? Sick. Thank you. I have a lot to show you today. Here we go. Look, mental training for sports. Oh, and building a successful business from the ground up. I even have a book about the secret to being a good listener. It was written by a hostess from a club in Ginza. Just picking out which books to bring took me half a day. I have tons more back home though. I've started using these as reference materials for the advice I give to my clients. This way I can suggest new alternatives instead of leaving them resigned to their fates. Hey, you're a pretty hard worker. <laughs> you must have lots of free time. <laughs> of course. After all, I need to be able to advise my clients on their future selves. Anyway, what I really want to tell you is that I've arrived at a new fortune-telling philosophy. Those with strong convictions can, in fact, change fate. Uh, oh, and it's for the people I sold holy stones to? I've started reading their fortunes free of charge. I'd like to return the money they gave me too, but um... But what? Well, well, um... Am I interrupting? What? Uh, Yokota-san. It's been a while, Maiden. Um, what are you doing here? The chairman asked that I come see how things are going. Mm, and who are you? Um... Uh, that's my apprentice. I haven't actually introduced him to the chairman yet. You're telling me you're so busy you need to hire an apprentice? Oh, uh, um... Yes, he's been a wonderful help. I see. I guess I should have expected such great foresight from you, Maiden. Now then, I should be going. Uh, thank you for stopping by. I'm sorry you had to see that. Uh, Maiden? 
That's, well, a nickname of sorts. Uh, anyway, it's a private matter, Amamiya-san. Nothing you should concern yourself with. Wait, are you perhaps worried about me? Thank you. Oh, I'm so touched, honestly. My luck really improves when you're around, Amamiya-san. <laughs> I know, in return for that, I'll predict your luck whenever you want. So is this where we get the thing? This might be where we get the thing. Yeah, man. Affinity reading. So, this works very similarly to, like, the Oracle draw in Persona 3 or the Fortune box in Persona 4. But this doesn't take a time slot. So you can just come out here. Like, you can go, like, okay, let's say we're gonna go hang out with Ryuji and we can't rank up with him yet. We can just come here, get an affinity reading, and then we can just go back to Ryuji and then we can level up with him. It's stupid. It's wonderful. All right. This watch Ahaya is really good. Oh. My, it's already so late. I should close up for today. Oh, yeah. Goodbye. Thanks, Jahaya. You do you, dog. Way too hot. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I wouldn't even walk away. I can't do anything. All right, so we got a chariot in our little book here, which is good because <laughs> you know what I was talking about with Ryuji? That's what, that's what we're doing today. We're not going to hang with him, but we are going to go get an affinity reading. Get a fortune telling. What shall we do? Affinity reading. I want to become closer with Ryuji. Yeah, this is really nice, right? Because like, it cuts out a wasted day, quote unquote, from having to hang out with someone. Here we go. And it's just, it's just so useful. You're feeling should have reached the other person. That's good. I bet you can deepen your friendship even further now. Yeah, let me tell you, tomorrow's gonna be a, a fun day. And however, we are going to go talk back to Shahaya because we are going to get our charm boosted today. So, luck greeting. A fortune red. Wait for it to load. Now. Want to increase my charm. Yeah, this is, like I said, the fortune coming on this game just pays in dividends for everything because we, we, we get this charm boost. And now we're gonna go back to Shibuya. We're gonna go to the walkway and get our uh, Ajiru, which should be char uh, yeah, charm today. I don't think I missed today. Hi. Yes, radiant charm. Man. So we get that, a little bit of bonus charm. And now we're gonna go to the movie theater. I could've just went to the Central Street. There we go, theater. Wow. Right now, we're just in time to see love possibly. It's a struggle about a man who struggles to tell the woman he loves how he truly feels. Yes, let's improve our charm. I got to score a girlfriend here in a little bit. Well then. Help her! Please! Help her! I don't care about the money or my social status, but please! I just need to tell her how I feel! Is this from Persona Q? This might be from Persona Q. I can't recall, but this is, a, this is definitely from a Persona game. Uh, the movie's right. A person's true value isn't about social setting or wealth. I feel like I was able to learn about love. Thanks to the crowd of cinema, I was able to enjoy the film on a deeper level. And also, you probably saw it on the bottom of the screen, but I'm gonna go look to see what song this is, and I'll put it on the screen. Yes, yeah, so I mean, a good 10 plus 10 points of Let's charm right there. Like, we're gonna just start cruising through these social stats with Chahaya on the on the thing, especially because we have summer, there's not much we really have to do. It's wonderful. So what's going on? I haven't heard of any developments. Medja hasn't taken any action either. I heard some company's private data got leaked or something. Did Medja do that? Are the fan thieves sitting on their hands? Do something! Man, it's hot. No, you keep, you keep asking about if we can take a break. We can't take a break. Hey, I heard some company's info got leaked. Yes, it seems the private dealings of a large corporation were publicly disclosed. It's caused quite a stir. People are wondering if Medjin is behind it. Uh, do you think it was Medjin? I would think not. This seems to be just a minor thing, quite different from what Medjin has done up until now. Is that so? So it wasn't Medjin? Damn, that shit freaked me out. It's honestly kind of hard not to have a knee-jerk reaction to this stuff nowadays. Sometimes people react to these situations by pleading for help from the Phantom Thieves. We need to find a way to stand up for them. Yeah, don't worry, we'll work on that, I guess. Now for the last thing we're doing today, I should just look at my phone, because look who's asking for our assistance tonight. It's my dog, Yoshida. 
I'm, I'm sure I don't have to explain the significance, but I have a request for you, since you stuck by my side. How's your schedule today? Oh, baby, it's time for the rank 9 or sin. I believe we get a fully voiced thing, because it's about to be speech. Let's find out. I hope it is. That'd be sick. Oh, no. The stage is set. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it, but... I know, you're not going to be my right-hand man, right? Don't worry. I won't pull any tricks. Feel free to talk about being falsely accused. I'll handle whatever comes from it. I saw Kuramoto's grandson around here somewhere. I bet he's curious about today's speech. I see. I haven't spoken to him since we last met. This speech should serve as a response to him. I didn't think any, uh, I didn't think any of the parties would back no good Torah. He's gonna talk about the Phantom Thieves, right? I couldn't care less about him. I'm just interested in hearing about the Phantom Thieves. Very well. Okay, I'm gonna get started. <laughs> Do your best. Yes. I will, especially with you looking on. Everyone. The reason they're causing such a stir is because they are addressing the world's problems. What are you doing, Tornosuke? Setting aside whether their actions are right or wrong. There is one thing I can safely say about the Phantom Thieves. A belief with conviction has the ability to move a person's heart. I... I'm sure you are all aware that I am no good Tora, the one accused of embezzlement. I was a fool 20 years ago. It's no wonder that I was considered a failure as a politician. However, because I was accused like that, I was able to understand the suffering of the weak. The most important why am I in politics? In the past, it was merely for personal gain. But why do the Phantom Thieves continue to change hearts? I believe they do it for the world and its people. And in choosing to do justice for others, they had no choice but to disguise themselves. No matter what the world says, I fully support them. I... I am just an average citizen. However, I will continue to voice my beliefs. I may not be able to become a die member of this election, and I may not be able to affect change during my lifetime. However, but I've made peace. Uh, I've made my peace with that. I will be happy as long as I can be a meaningful stepping stone for the future of our youth. Thank you for listening. I set the stage for nothing. So you have no intention of accusing old man Kuramoto? Yes. That's right. Sheesh, such a heartfelt speech for someone your age. People are probably laughing at you as we speak. I don't any of them are moved by your words. I might be the only one in this entire city who was. Matsushita. Proceed as you wish with your candidacy. I'll take measures to ensure the party backs you. Within the limits of my abilities, of course. Goodbye. Mm. My candidacy, huh? What an unexpected turn of events. The Phantom Thieves. Perhaps it's the effect of you moving my heart. <laughs> you had to change your heart. <laughs> that must be it. Still, I have you to thank for this. The Phantom Thieves. The power to change a person's heart. I don't possess a special power like they do, but I won't lose to them when it comes to conviction. Speech is my only weapon. Just my voice and my words. That's how I win people over. Thank you. Thank you for sticking by my side, I'm Mia Kun. I feel like my bomb with Yoshida is growing deeper. Man, you know, it's, it's so sad, though. That means that we only have one more session with Yoshida. And I love Yoshida. But, right. you know, so every good thing must come to an end. <laughs> Contrary to what I thought, getting your heart stolen isn't such a bad thing. If he's a member of the Phantom Thieves, then... Ah, I'm talking to myself again. Not a bad habit of mine. Time to finish up for today. I mean, like, we knew that we were busted well, last I'll time. Because he was just... I mean, he was... He's like, oh, it's just jokes. It's just bands, mate. But we know that that was not the case. That dude's got got us figured out a long ass time ago. I'll be intrigued on you tomorrow. Your house manages to be cool despite this heat. There's a book I want to read, and should something happen, I would be ready in case we must assemble. If it works into the schedule, we could hang out. Don't worry if you ever have other plans. I'll be stopping by either way. Yeah, because tomorrow. Oh, well, it's actually not tomorrow, because this is Friday's episode. So Monday will be the first teammate rank Tennyson. And it might even be the second teammate's ranked Tennyson. Just throwing that out there. Oh, but who the heck's messaging me now? Shut up! We're gonna train, shut up! Mm -hmm. You don't need your friends, eh? Ah, the beauty of youth. Are you gonna head out once you're done eating? Yes, sir! But my friends will be here, at least one of them. You know, it's, it's, it's always so weird going back to that little bit of normalcy after a, a dungeon. But it's, it's also kind of really nice just to have a, like, the only, like, small break we had was, oh, look, it's the TV, it's it's that fucking snake-ass bitch talking about, oh, the Phantom Thieves need to be executed publicly for treason. But it's great. So, Monday. 
the first teammate ranked Henderson, and possibly the second. See you then.